Hey, Star Wars Action Fear Collectors, it's Darth Phoenix619 coming at you with my third and final part of this battle pack. Darth Maul returns with Mr. Savage Opress. And of course, this is the Armor Savage Opress that was released on the single card last year. A very rare figure, figure that I never saw in stores and, you know, tends to go for a high price on eBay. Not so much now, it's, it's been going down now that this pack was, is, you know, is released. So. And I heard it was being released with the pack. I decided to wait, and I'm glad I did. Finally picked him up. Of course, he doesn't come with his lightsaber. It's the only drawback. He's holding an extra double blade lightsaber that I have from an extra Darth Maul uh, figure that I got a while back. Maybe I can customize this, or you know, we'll see. Maybe they're selling on on eBay for, loose for a decent price. But anyways, um, it's finally awesome to find to own, own this guy. I can see why he was such a such a. I can see why he's a fan favorite. So. Um, so let's get the packaging out of the way. There goes Mr. Maul. If you'd like to see the packaging, please check out my cybernetic Darth Maul review that was posted not too long ago. Um, of course, you get the stand and you get your card, which I think is fantastic. Great card there. Nice artwork. And then you get an image there on the back of the card. And there's the stats. Uh, you get this weapon that we've seen before, um, the spear, which I guess can be launched, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's alright. And of course we got this with the shirtless Darth Maul, which I do have, so it's my second one of these. And he holds it here, are the handles, so it's nice, definitely, but you know. He looks cooler with his double bladed lightsaber, so he'll be holding on to this one. My other my Darth Maul was more was more of a extra figure there. So yeah, I can customize it a bit myself, like I said. But anyways, the figure itself is fantastic. Um you know I saw in a review that I think it was by Free Video two thousand or Nabil six nine one, I can't remember that. The paint, I think it was free video, is um somewhat lighter, not as not as bright as compared to the single card armage, armor sauvage. Either way, I, I like the yellow. I think it looks great. So, let's take a closer look at his head sculpt. Fantastic head sculpt. Much better than the shirtless one. You know, I mean, just very clean and crisp. You got the red eyes right there in the middle. The sneer. And then those horns look fantastic. Very, very nice. Uh, the armor itself looks great. I mean, you got some nice um, design here. The lines, the gray, gray paint apps against this almost glossy sort of metallic silver uh, gray. Uh, you got the shoulder pads, which are removable, so they have a little movement up and down. So those look great too. They definitely have a nice chrome type finish to them. Same thing with the straps going around the arms. Gauntlets, same thing, that nice metallic finish, nice silver paint apps, just looks fantastic. Okay. Uh, belt looks great. Little silver touches there. You got this soft plastic, um, kind of loincloth type deal going on with an emblem there. Looks good. It's kind of embossed. Okay. Uh, you got the soft good skirt, which looks good. And you got the steel toe boots, which look fantastic. Of course, the boots were the same one seen on the shirtless one. So yeah, it looks good. I mean, even the black paint on the pants has a nice glossy finish to it. Nice ripped back, good little molding right there, sculpt. So it looks really good. The only thing I don't really like about this figure is the way this hand's molded, which I know is done so he can hold his spear or axe, whatever it is. <laughs> but uh, whatever, it's not such a big deal. But he is great. It's hard to choose a favorite one in, in this pack. I mean, I'm such a huge Darth Maul fan. Darth Maul fan. I'll probably go with that one. This one will probably be my second favorite. Articulations really good. You got your ball joint head. 
So it looks nice up and down movement. You got ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, uh, swivel hips, ball hinged knees. No articulation in the ankles. So there he is, Mr. Savage or Press. You know, if you missed out on this guy, you definitely need to get the pack. All three figures are worth it, and you're looking at seven something a figure. I mean, that's such a great deal. And it's gone for 18 now if you're watching this for the week of uh, September 16th. Um, it's $18 right now, so a couple bucks off. So you're looking at six bucks a figure with tax. So an awesome price. And, you know, if you already have them, um, you know, get the pack anyways. You can always sell them. So the one you already have, keep the lightsaber. <laughs> I mean, he's a great figure. So there you guys have it. Um, quick update. I think I'm at about 194, 195 subscribers right now. So I'm pretty close to 200. Um, I'd like to hit that uh, hopefully soon. You know, I'm trying to get a contest going, a giveaway uh, soon. And uh, plan to pick up some, some prizes for that next week and uh, a little bit of everything try to make it really exciting um i like the contest i did i had a fun time doing it last time so but uh so you know if you're not subscribed and you like what you see please subscribe and if you're already subscribed you know keep commenting and and uh, like and whatnot but uh it's great to hear from you guys out there and uh so uh till next time uh may the force be with you